what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one and only Ash said it, Ash said it.com. Ash said it.com. Wow, it is a Saturday afternoon. Your girl is getting a late start. You know, um, I was up at mass camp last night. We were gluing and sticking and cutting and pasting and feathering stuff all night long. And I'm just kind of jumping back into the swing of things. So I am back into the mix because I'm headed back to mass camp to go help out some more. You know how we do. We, we help out some more. We do what we got to do. And we get some things done. Mass.com. Go and check out my band. I believe they just closed the t-shirt sections last night because we're still getting orders. A couple people have canceled out their costumes. So stay tuned to social media and you can see what sections may possibly have costumes available on Sunday because Sunday is the final deposit and everything is supposed to be done and finished for a Sunday so make sure that you are in the right realm <laughs> for next week and for getting everything done for a carnival so if you want to be a part of carnival band there are a couple of sections that may have costumes available due to cancellations or whatever the case may be so be sure to check that out be sure to keep on the up and up with that yes indeedy yes indeedy and like i said you girls just having a really great day a really great life a really great existence um life is 10 percent what happens to you 90 percent of how you react to it i could sit up in in life and be angry and be mad and be very discouraged because of the things that I've been faced with and, and what I've had to deal with or I can pull myself up by my bootstraps and keep pushing forward no matter what so that's what I chose to do I push forward no matter what because at the end of the day I need to I need to be me and I need to be happy and I can't dwell on things that are out of my control. And so much of life that happens is so much out of our control. So much of it is out of our control. And the best thing that you can do is embrace it for what it is and make the best out of it. That's the best thing that you can do. Um, if you're fortunate enough to have some really awesome, really amazing souls and spirits around you, you keep those people encourage you keep those people around you keep those people loving on you and you love on them too you know it, it needs to be a, a two-way street you can't just take 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 from people you need to also give and respect them respect those people for who they are because they respect you enough to continue to en enlighten you and to continue to encourage you so why not Give to those people as well. Support their dreams. Support their movement. They're supporting you. So, that's my little tidbit. That's my little cracker bit of little uh, something something for the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that is pretty much what's going on with your girl. But, um, sugar, and I forgot the doggone bar. I'm so mad at myself. I have this peanut butter bar that is basically like a meal replacement and I forgot it. Oh, I'm so mad at me. But you know what? We keep on moving. I'll figure out something. As, as the day goes on, I will figure out something else. I always do. But, um, yeah, this, this strange thing called life, it is quite interesting if I... If I can say so myself, quite the interesting task at hand. But, um, I just want to say, if there's something out there that you want to do, jump out there and do it. I had so many people against me, so many people that uh, did not support, so many people that downplayed, so many people that overlooked me because they said that I didn't have talent. That I wasn't going to go anywhere, that I was going to let my circumstance get the better of me, that I wasn't, I wasn't talented enough, I wasn't pretty enough, 
I wasn't cute enough, uh, I wasn't small enough, I wasn't the right fit. It's a good damn thing I didn't listen to none of they ass. It is a good doggone thing that I did not listen to them because had I listened to them, I would not be in my purpose right now. I would not have people reaching out to me from across the globe. I would not have clients across the country. I would not be in connection with such great talent and minds. It would not be possible because I would not have believed in myself enough. And the first step in your success story is belief in self. You've got to believe it. If you don't believe it, no one else is going to believe it for you. Mama can only believe it for you for so long. <laughs> for so, so long. And that was a big chunk of me. My mama, Mama Beezy, Dada Teresa, my angel up above was my biggest supporter out of anyone in this entire universe. She was my biggest supporter here on earth. And no matter how out of the box or crazy or random or anything that, that what I was trying to do, she always supported me. She was always my backbone. She was my biggest cheerleader. And when she parted this world, it was kind of chaotic for me because I depended on her approval for so much. And even though I was my own mind and I was my own person, it's making history. And I'm thankful to be where I am. And I know that there's no question, no, no doubt in my mind that I'm where I'm at because of the sacrifices that my mother made and her mother made for her and her mother made for her and I bask in that I, I acknowledge it I celebrate it and I contribute to it and so that's why I'll be wise well why are you doing this why are you doing it you everywhere you doing this you do I've got a lot of energy I've got a lot of efforts to put out in the universe and I ain't really began we're scratching the surface right about now we are scratching the surface so I've come to a place where I love life I love the people around me and I keep nothing but good and positive energy around me regardless some people don't deserve your energy they don't. People that have wronged you, people that have mudslinged you, people that drag your name throughout the dirt, they don't deserve your energy. Were they wrong? Absolutely. Are they bad people? Not necessarily. But do they deserve your energy? Heck no. People get at me all the time. They're like, ah, oh, Joe, this person's saying this about you. Oh, this person said that. And that ain't true. So I jumped up in their face. I said, no, 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 no. I said, we don't do that. We don't, no, 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 no. My kid, we don't do that. If you want to talk negative about Ash, guess what? That's publicity, baby. My name is in your mouth for a reason. So keep it up. Keep talking about me. Because at the end of the day, real recognize real. And those people that you're trying to drag my name through the dirt and, and trying to trying to pin up against me. Those are the same people that's going to hit me up and really get to know me and know that you're a liar. And you try to poison people against folks. And you ain't no good. So, keep up the good work. Keep talking about me. Keep it up. Because when you sit up there talking about me, all that's doing is bringing awareness about my brand. And people start to question, well, who is this evil person they they, they call Ash? Who is this, this wicked woman that does all these horrible things to people's lives? And they meet me, and the first thing out of their mouth is, you're nothing like I thought. Mm. Like, you've been talking to some folks, lady. Mm. You've been talking to some people. You're nothing like I thought you were going to be. I get that so much, it's laughable. And I don't even ask who said what or where they got their information from. I just laugh at it and I keep it moving. 
I laugh at it, I keep it moving. So, I said it to say, people are going to talk regardless. People are always going to talk mad stuff about you. And majority of it, you know and I know, and everybody else know. Anybody with sense, anybody with common sense will know truth from false. They're going to know it. They're going to know it. So, don't fight the, the process. Don't defend a lie. Don't defend yourself against a lie. Especially, for me, when I know that something is not true that someone has put out there. When I know that someone is sitting up there fabricating stories against me and about me and trying to assassinate my character, I don't get on the defense. I know who I am. God knows who I am. God knows my heart. And that's really all I'm concerned with. You not liking me, you not wanting to work with me, you whatever, feeling some type of way about me, that has nothing to do with me. That's none of my business how you feel about me. So when people fabricate these stories and paint me out to be this this villain <laughs> and they, they, they come up with these, these tales that are just so far-fetched. I'm like, wow, y'all really think this much of me? You really think that I'm that type of person. That is hilarious. It is pretty hilarious. So, it's pretty uh, entertaining. It's entertaining when people come back and tell me these stories of, uh, of what they hear about me or what they've heard previously. We all sit around. We have a good laugh. We have a good laugh laugh about it because people's minds are really um, creative and they should really put this stuff in the screenplays they should, they should, they should totally put this stuff in the screenplays totally. and uh, I, I don't, I can't get upset, I can't get angry because I know what the truth is they know what the truth is but that's not going to stop them from sprinkling a little dirt on my name <laughs> you know, shake a little salt and pepper on it you know what I'm saying, for taste, for flavor you know, it's a little tasty if you, you know, you add some, some flavor to it, some, some seasonings. So, I let them have their fun, because at the end of the day, guess what? They're bringing awareness about my brand, so the more they keep chatting it up, the more people keep on looking into me, the more people that become customers, hire me on for their events, buy a blog feature, whatever it is that they do. So, I holler back at my folks. I holler back. I holler back. Saying, holla back, young and woo woo. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And it's taken a lot of heart, a lot of pain, a lot of strife, a lot of me just gathering myself and understanding what I will and will not tolerate in my life. And what I won't tolerate is negative energy. The naysayers, the people that try to plant those negative seeds. Oh, well, you about to do that? Oh, well, girl, that ain't gonna work. Ain't nobody ever did that. Girl, I ain't never seen nobody do it. You can't do that. <laughs> girl, you ain't got you ain't got the willpower to get all that stuff done, girl. I'm telling you, it's not gonna happen for you. So while you sitting up there talking all that stuff, I'm actually putting the wheels into motion. And I'm actually making things happen. So, like I said, the negativity of the naysayers, they're gonna be around. Let them stay there. Let them stay around. But just don't entertain the foolishness. Don't do it. Don't do it. And just live your life. Live the life that you want to live. Not the one that people tell you to live. Not the one that everybody says, Oh, well, girl, this is what you need to do. You need to do this. Oh, this is what you need to do. You need to do that. Oh, girl, what you doing that for? Oh, no. Don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. So, continue to just do what you gotta do. Whatever it may be. And don't let anyone talk you out of it. A lot of times people wanna talk you out of their dream because they never fulfilled their own dream. Ooh. 
I'm talking to somebody today. I'm talking to somebody. Let me let me let me say that again. People don't want you to live your dream because they're not living theirs. They never branched out and did that thing that they wanted to do. So they don't want you to see, they don't want to see you branch out and do something different and do something that why? Because that would mean that they were too, they are also capable of living that dream, of of thinking outside the box. But the fact that they never did it, they don't want to try it. And they don't want to see you try it either. They're going to throw all kind of shade. They're going to toss all kind of dirt. And they're going to continue to try to bring you down. Don't let them do it. I'm telling you, don't let them do it. Because if you let them do it, then guess what? You're just like them. You're going to turn bitter and angry and mean just like them. So, the choice is yours ultimately. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Blog features. Go and check out ashsetit.com. Ashsetit.com. Blog features. Get featured onto six different platforms. Wow. Six platforms. 25 bucks. One full day. It doesn't get any better than that. And you know that I'm going to promote the heck out of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get publicity two, three times. Hell, depending on the day, maybe even four or five times a day. So, jump onto the Ash Said It blog right now. Go to ashsaidit.com, reserve your blog feature. May is done, donezo. We got a couple of dates in June, but you got to email to find out availability. We have bookings all the way in October. Shout out to my very, very diligent and supportive and loving sponsors, which include thepurplecinderella.com. VV by Amber Shirley, thepublicseye.com, dragonmusic.com, and floydgrant.com. I just want to give a shout out to all of my peoples because they always support me regardless of every single thing that happens, every single thing that I do, every new venture that I jump on. These people have been ride or die since day one. And every time, all I've had to say was, hey, can you do this? All right, but when you need it, when you need it, I, I got you. I got you. And no doubt, all of these people have always come through and had my back. No diggity, no doubt. So I thank each and every one of them. And I celebrate them. I love y'all to pieces. So the blog features right now, 25 bucks. You can get featured on the Ash Edit blog. You get a feature on the Ash Edit blog, on Twitter, on Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, and Tumblr. All right? You get all of those. That is exposure that you really, you know, I really should be charging you some more than the 25. But that has been the most popular, um, that has been the most popular say so on it. So I definitely want to say that I appreciate and love all of you for all that you do. And I will see you guys on the flip side. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, info at ashsetit.com. That is info at ashsetit.com for all the details and everything else that's good going with it and just continue to support me as I said continue to support you if you got stuff going on tag me tag me on social media at one love ash the number one love ash hashtag ash said it hashtag ash said it and we'll get this done we'll get it in we'll do what we gotta do due diligence baby babies due diligence I love y'all I love y'all I love y'all thank you thank you thank you I will see you guys in Cyber World. I'm going to do a Periscope from Mass Camp, so look out on Periscope. And also, I'll probably do it for my Facebook buddies, too, because y'all been y'all been digging the, the, the Mass Camp video, so I will do that as well. But I love, 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 love you guys so very much. I pass out kisses to each and every one of you, and I will holler back at y'all on the flip side. Deuces.